Special thank you to WB for giving me early access to multiverses so we can get an idea of how these characters play and function. Multiverses is back and to start it off with a bang, we have to do a Joker day one guide. This is going to be everything you need to know for the character just to get the ball rolling so that day one you can go online and start clapping people's cheeks after you get a great understanding of the character because he's a lot of fun and has some really cool tools in his kit. Now, this is the first of many guys that are soon on the way. Jason is up next, so you guys are going to want to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on that and help raise that 38% even higher. Now, with that being said, let's get into this video. The Joker is a mage character just like Bugs and Tom and Jerry. He has a wide arsenal of almost every single tool is also useful. His mobility is really great and he can also rush down opponents and create space keeping people on their toes with his projectiles. You can play him however you want, really. Now getting this out of the way, his best move is his up air. Now some of you guys that have played multiverses might have PTSD or remembering exactly what this reminds you of. It is just like Bugs Bunny's up air and it's just like Harley's up air. This shit can reach in front of him and it can reach behind him. It's crazy. It has a wide range. It can kill off the top really early as well, depending on your position, of course. And this is a move you're going to be using a lot anytime enemies are above you. It's very quick and it's going to be a massive headache for people to deal with. Of course, you could always dodge out of it, but you know, in multiverses now, there actually is a dodge meter tied to every single character. So if you run out of this, you see how I'm flashing right here. If you run out of your dodge, now you'll see I'll start sweating. You don't get that invulnerability no more. If, if you do this, you can still dodge left and right, but you're going to get hit so since this move has such a wide range i've been catching a lot of people in this early test build and probably pissing off a lot of people with joker being able to do this and by the way a lot of people are still playing multiverses by dodge jumping now dodge jumping is still in this game but you'll see you can only do two dodge jumps before you run out and to get your dot to get your dodge meter back up you should you could wait for it to come back, but you could also deal damage and it should come back a little bit quicker. So see two dodge jumps and now I'm in burnout. I can't dodge anything. I can just move left or right, but I'll still get hit by anything that hits in between. But hitting enemies and getting hit also will help raise your dodge meter back up. So there is that. Keep keep that in mind. And also you can use this up air in falling. You can use it in neutral. Falling up airs works pretty well. <laughs> Attack Decay functions differently than uh, it did in the first build as well. Attack Decay will lower the damage and knockback. Now, on the ground, Joker's up smash is the same exact animation, and it has the same exact range. It's really good. It hits behind him. It hits in front of him. It covers a lot of space. In general, verticality is Joker's bread and butter. He is killing a lot of people off the top. It has great range, and you could also charge it up on the ground. So keep that in mind. You can actually bait out a lot of people that are trying to fall on top of you. And there's, a, there's some other cool tricks as well. We're going to talk about a little bit later. And both of these moves are really solid and work well with his up special. They don't combo exactly into it, but it's a great setup to catch opponents that are not trying to dodge out of the way or are unsuspecting. So you can do stuff like this. If they fall back down into it, you can actually kill them with this at higher percents. Now, in general, the up special is a great move to harass enemies above Joker. It does have an initial hitbox on it, but once the balloon is up and Joker starts lifting, it doesn't have another hitbox as well. And when the balloon falls on the ground, you could actually interact with it as Joker and use it to hit enemies. So the first initial frame of him creating the balloon has a hitbox and does a decent amount of damage and can kill people. Hell, you can even spam balloons back to back to harass enemies. <laughs> so if some if they dodge the first one, they ain't dodging the second one. You could do stuff like that. Spamming it works really well against opponents that aren't trying to dodge it, but instead trying to do a down air or hit you out of it. Pretty strong. After you use a balloon, it will float down to the ground. Uh, depending on how much higher up you are too, it could take a little bit longer. And there's, can, there can never be two balloons on the ground at the same time. So, And what's cool is that Joker can actually hit the balloon and not pop it. He could hit it closer to the enemy in the middle of fights. Your teammate can as well. Uh, but the enemies can only, they can, they can hit it once to basically blow it up. There's like six different directions you can take it. If you're holding upright, you could take it upright that way. Actually, let me show you from a higher up position, but you could take it upright. You can go horizontally right. And you could even bring it down right. And that's also the same case for left. You can go six different directions. So up, left. Oops. Horizontal. Now, you don't have an infinite supply of this, by the way. If you look on the bottom, it actually does have a cooldown. 
to when it can come back. So let's do that one right there. And yeah, you can see you can go bottom left too as well. So there's all kinds of different directions you can take it. You could actually use it to go through a platform and hit enemies unsuspectingly. And I like to put these around the map and save them for later encounters. You'll see. It can really catch enemies off guard and sets them up for a jumping up air right after landing it. It is Joker's like fastest interactable move after it. So throwing out an up air after it hits is always really good and works from even mid to higher percents. So I'm always trying to kind of like knock the balloons or enemies near them, keep them within the same area. So this way, if I'm in the middle of a combo or I'm even trying to escape, I can just hop on the balloon and get out of there. The balloon does have some priority to it. Some moves can beat it out, but overall it is a pretty consistent landing one and kind of frustrating to deal with. So just like the Batarang guys, if you're playing against Joker, you're going to want to pop these immediately. Don't let them linger if you're playing against Joker. The reason why I didn't talk about perks in this build is because for what we're playing right now, it's actually kind of expensive to earn currency to get perks. It's not going to be like that in the full release of the game. It's just what it is right now for this specific build. But uh, runaway inflation is what I was using, which is why his balloon can grow even larger the longer you hold the attack. And then he also has Joker's Wild. When the Joker throws a card, he will occasionally throw an explosive Joker card instead of a normal playing card. You might have more utility with Joker's Wild because the holding down the balloon for bigger inflation is only good for like keeping the balloons on the stage, really. You're not going to really use that in the combo unless you're trying to bait out dodges, which would be good. But I think Joker's Wild would be ultimately the better one to go for. And obviously, like, stuff for projectiles, like, that's flammable dock and whatnot. Like, in training mode, you can equip whatever perks it is that you want. But in the actual game that I'm playing right now, it, I'm not really getting a whole lot because of the way matches work in this. It's an early build, but I just wanted to put that out there for you guys to know. Now, you can actually hold it down. It takes a little bit longer to come out, and it doesn't have a hitbox on the initial frame. It takes a, It has a little bit of a delay. But it gets bigger, and you can actually deal 19 damage with it. Whereas the standard balloon will do like 11 damage right there. So 19 damage is always great. I'll typically, I'll hold it down if the enemy is like used to dodging it immediately. So you can catch them off guard with the second hit or to just randomly place them around the stage. So you can do stuff like this, place them around the stage, continue fighting the enemy, do your thing. And then eventually it'll uh, come back down Yeah, right there. So it does linger Then you can go boom. Oh, okay. I missed him right there. But you see, you can do your, uh, you actually can do the up air pretty quick out of it. Brand new to multiverses, every character has a dash attack now, which is pretty cool. This is something that was missing in the previous game. I'm so glad that they have it in the game now. So far, all of them are pretty good. You'll find sometimes it's hard to get the run animation going and you might just get a, a jab out depending on how long you run. You get the run like not too much longer, but it can be a little inconsistent. Sometimes you might want to get a dash attack out from like this position and you totally can guys and this works with any character it's called the instant dash attack what you're gonna want to do is press forward twice on your controller and then tap the attack button so from here see right there and it's really good for aerial attacks like if you're if you're using it like in the air and you're trying to like land you can don't go directly into that so again it's forward forward attack to do an instant dash attack and this works with every single character some characters get a lot of mileage out of this specifically one that comes to mind is wonder woman wonder woman can do a down air into a nair into a landing instant dash attack and it's all a true combo and deals a crazy amount of damage for her to start off matches and go goes on for quite some time she can keep on doing that a lot of characters can utilize this well too Joker, I feel like, doesn't benefit from canceling it out of an air attack. Mostly his up air, his forward air, maybe not so much because the landing can be kind of floaty with it. So I wouldn't recommend it with Joker. But by all means, experiment. You guys might find something better than what I have right now. Joker's dash attack is pretty insane because on the edge, it hits below the stage. So <laughs> look at that. And it lingers. So if enemies are trying, like, hanging off the stage or trying to come back up, you can actually cheese them and get some pretty uh, solid kills like right here see just go right off is eh, you can't really be too close but that's essentially it you won't fall off the stage and that's pretty good for edge guarding specifically for joker's case because it hits so low you can also even combo off a of joker's dash attack which so you can do stuff like this uh 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 that all was a true combo by the way i have the dummy set to dodge after hit stun You can do some goofy stuff like that with Joker. 
<laughs> not a true combo the first four hits are but some enemies won't dodge in time and you can totally fish out and bait out dodges with it like i said joker is a, a very good verticality character he will kill a lot from the top and i have a lot of clips of ending people's stocks in the early 20 percent now again again this is against like gizmos and harleys and being pretty high up in general but joker has a really solid kit for that joker's forward air can be charged up and has a deceptive range you can kind of like play around with it like this and bait out attacks frustrate enemies really by retreating and throwing it out there to cover the front space you could also go forward with it as well i'm not using like dodges or anything like this but you could just you could totally do that oh look at that you could actually so you could do stuff like this if you do a forward air and you land after you land you can go directly into the instant dash attack if you master that timing it's it's not that difficult to pull off and can actually cover a lot of space for joker because a lot of people will think okay he's landing so he can't do anything he's i could punish that but you can actually cover that window on approaching enemies and go directly into see that got messed up right there but you can go right into that <laughs> see pretty good start off your offense from cancel windows that move can kill on the edge but it doesn't really it's not really consistent to kill but it is pretty decent to neutral joker's down air the pogo stick is pretty good it can be cheesy on the ledge and continue to hit enemies like even if they're uh not on the stage you see right there and he could bounce himself up like this you could just do this over and over again it's pretty it's pretty jacked up i'm not gonna lie this actually works as an edge guard if they're like on the edge a little bit like you see that little circle that's forming there it'll continue to launch them down and all this is is i'm holding down down air and when he bounces up i'm pulling down on the left stick and down again on the right stick to just keep it going in neutral it can be kind of like inconsistent like if you jump and you're trying to you gotta really like it's it's not consistent to like use it like this sometimes enemies can really like dodge it or it'll it'll miss entirely you gotta be really really close with joker you want to kind of like hit it at the last second see i'm hitting it pretty late right there which is good but if you hit it too early sometimes it can miss getting used to his down air it's not it doesn't function like everybody else's it's kind of floaty and of course holding it down makes it last a little bit longer that split second can make a huge difference and nailing an enemy with it but there's actually a new hidden mechanic in multiverses guys instant air dash iad now it's best to do this guys by turning off tap jump you want to make sure this is off trust me it makes a huge difference because now with tap jump i won't be able to jump on my left stick but i jump with my buttons i use like triangle to jump essentially so now when i hold up I actually am not jumping right but i can still move it like diagonal and left and right so check this out see how like i have that issue with this sometimes not being consistent with landing against the enemy right but you can do stuff like this so how close to the ground that was that is an instant air dash and you input this right by the way it uses a lot of meter i was in burnout right there i just got my meter back instant air dashes are amazing every character can use it i think what joker his best move to use from it is his is his down air now to do an instant air dash you're gonna press up and right so basically jumping towards the enemy and hitting the dodge attack and then a down air or whatever aerial it is so see that one came out right there I'm already in burnout oh my god you really want to not spam this use this however you want but be pretty precise with it guys insane <laughs> that actually worked really well and you can do that with any character you can use it with any aerial even aerial special attacks guys you go crazy with it but also beware of your dodge meter this uses a lot of dodge meter if you run out of your dodge meter you're gonna be stuck in burnout and being in burnout is no fun guys remember you will be dodging and you will not be getting any invulnerability frames and you'll be running for your life till you get meter back now i like 90 percent or higher you can actually get a guaranteed kill off of his down air by comboing into up special right there see that's a really solid kill confirm and you can make it even more consistent with the instant air dash you can do that. uh uh and that kills <laughs> too much fun with this game system man there's a lot of cool cool combo potential in this now joker's projectile the cards have a very short cooldown you could just throw out the cards right there and you'll see after about three to four seconds it's back and i could throw it again now each time you use it it's going to cycle to a different effect card the first one is a sticky bomb that attaches to the enemy and then detonates a little bit after the second one is actually a boomerang with great utility so you could throw it 
Batman over here, it'll come back to Joker and knock the enemy into you. It's this is really good if you're getting comboed and throw this out. It can really frustrate enemies. And then the last one is a triple card hit, so deals more damage. I say spam this at will, guys. Use this a lot in neutral. And the best thing about this, guys, is the directional input. You could actually control which direction you throw this. So if I jump in the air, I could throw it down at Shaggy. I can uh, also snipe them from the air as well with it, right? It's pretty good. Control the trajectory of it is pretty awesome. There's no consequences because the cooldown is super short and use it at will. So Joker's down smash are these chattering teeth right here and it has great utility. For one thing, it could actually break armor. Notice if it is a purple move. You can even pop enemies up for like follow-ups to certain attacks. Oops, that didn't, that didn't work. You could actually get a kill from it like that which is pretty awesome. You can even get some up airs. Yeah, you can even combo like up air into it as well. And what's pretty cool is that you can actually charge it up. You see he's just holding it right there. If you just mash dodge, he'll have it stored up. And you can use it at any time. If you press down smash again, it's going to make it so that Joker will let the teeth hit multiple times. You see it does more damage and it hits way, way, way more. So just throw it out there and then you could actually, oops. Don't be trash like me. You can throw it out there and hit enemies again and do different attacks to them. You can use it at will, really. The best part about it is that you could, like, just save it. Oops. You could just save it to use later on in fights. And just like with Wonder Woman, this is a new mechanic to multiverses. If you have a charge move save and you die, you respawn with the charge still at full, guys. Too good. He also has another move that can be charged in the air. It is the Flower Acid. You could actually just dodge cancel out of it as well, stockpile it up. But both moves actually pertain to the haha -ha meter. So even if I charge it up from the flower like I just did, which is the special, the neutral special attack, you could just throw out the teeth and it still works for the teeth as well. And then vice versa, right? I could charge it up with that. And then I could do the flowers, which ignites fire on Shaggy. So let's do that again. Decent knockback. And it also puts a dot on them. This is very good for building up damage. I'm sure more utility will be found, but this is just day one stuff that you guys should know because I honestly didn't even know about the charge haha -ha meter until today. And this is my third day with the game. Standing special is a hand shocker gag. I honestly thought this was a parry, but it's actually not a parry. And I don't know if this makes it better, but essentially if you're standing really close to the enemy, it'll launch them. In great situations, you could just pull this off and trick up the enemy. So let's do stuff like... <laughs> he just flew right into me. <laughs> The move is kind of toxic. For those that played Smash Bros, you guys will recognize this move right here. His side special is a rocket. It launches down just like Solid Snake's down smash. But if you hold it, it actually goes a little bit further. You could actually control the trajectory, make it go a little bit further. It has great kill potential, but honestly, enemies can see this a mile away. If you're playing against a really skilled player. You're not going to hit them with that. You could also do it off of like uh, platforms, but the range isn't that great. It actually disappears. So like stuff like this you could actually see right there that's the range it doesn't go much further than the horizontal aspect of the platform so you can't really cheese stocks with this but aerial side special is a different move it's like this baton wheel he does and this is a great approach tool it also beats out a lot of moves because of the multi-hit and you can fast fall it too to kind of like cheese out enemies you can even do it like to go up in the air like joker has a lot of good use with with this i like this a lot because as a wonder woman player i abuse super punch a lot and this kind of functions in the same way because it's the same input it's the si same side special and it does the same thing where you can like raise it go straight across or go down with it so if you see enemy running up on you you could just you could do it like retreating too you can go uh Ooh, you can go uh, fast fall directly down with it to kind of like catch enemies off guard and it's not always going to kill it's a really good kill move up here in this range it's a kill move because it launches up pretty high but down here it's it's not going to kill maybe off to the edge too depending on the opponent's di yeah right there so he launches them up and honestly, like if you fast fall it onto the enemy and it lands, you could actually jump into an up air, get a couple of hits right there, just 
bully the enemy, really. It's a really good move. It's a really good move. Can actually set up for, like, early kill potential. I feel like the priority of that move trumps a lot of ones as well. Obviously, armor moves, not so much, but as a pretty deceptive hitbox. Joker's down special on the ground has two different functions. It has this cannon right here. If you press uh, B again, it'll launch a cannon back up at the enemy. You could press left and B and it'll launch the enemy this way. Sorry, left and special. They just say special to be a little bit more universal. You could change directions, but also you could do it with A. And A will create a jack-in-the-box that'll launch enemies up. You could also use the right stick too for that one, and you could change which direction and keep enemies on their toes. This would be really good in like teams and like fake people out. So like say you turn around this way, you're like, ooh, I'm already, aha, psych, I have this move here. It has a little bit of a startup, so it's not amazing. Down special with Joker, he's throwing down like a grenade and this smoke cloud has a really good hitbox and can keep Joker kind of safe. I think this is really good to avoid trades as well in Joker's favor. And I honestly forget about this move a lot myself. It also has great combo ability too. You could do stuff like down air into that, into, well, you saw how high up he went right there. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I can kill with that. Hold on. <laughs> you set up some pretty crazy stuff, especially in teams. So, uh, uh, oops. Uh, 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 uh. Actually, I should have went... Let me try going with the uh, thing again. Hold on. <laughs> Joker is too much fun, chat. So basically, with Joker, you can do stuff like down air into that. Down air into that, that, and that. Or you could do it where you do the up special first. So down air into that, that, that. <laughs> You can get kind of crazy. I could have probably killed him there, but I suck ass. But on a different stage, that would kill. Jeez, that actually can kill. Now, Joker has one of the best forward dodges in the game. This dude basically has a brawl Dacus. So if you do forward dodge, look at that. Look how far he goes with that. That is insane. A lot. There are some pretty good ones other characters have too, but Joker gets a lot of mileage out of this as well. Keep this in mind, guys. It does use a lot of dodge meter if you try to use this. It'll put you in burnout after two. It really covers a lot of ground. It hits all over Joker's hitbox. In addition to doing it like to dodge into up smash, you could actually do it into a uh, down smash as well. So you could do stuff like this into that or do stuff like that into that. And that, that actually combos at much later percents, as you guys know. So if an enemy is playing a lot of keep away, you could really be deceptive with Joker and get up in there and throw that out there and that can get you kills very easily in a lot of matches guys this is a pretty crazy cheese with it too guys like if you do like jab jab into forward dash jab jab into forward dash oops i did it too many times but jab jab forward dash jab jab forward dash jab jab forward dash it's not a true combo by any means but newer players will get frustrated with that i did it a couple times today on enemies now let's talk about his jabs joker gets a lot of mileage off of his jabs but don't worry a lot of characters do too uh there's some really cool guaranteed combo setups with characters like jason and don't worry you'll, we'll talk about a lot of that with the jason guide but joker gets some pretty cool stuff too so you could do jab jab into up smash that actually is a true combo for quite some time actually oops make sure you do it in the right direction you totally do that right there you could even do into that that works also depending on the enemy's di too after like two jabs they could just pull backwards and uh avoid it but if they do that you could just if the enemies are pulling away you could totally just do that <laughs> that la that actually true combos for a while i think you could also continue to do this in burnout let's see yep It goes quite hard, chat. Goes quite hard. And there you guys have it. That is a day one guide for all the essentials when it comes to the Joker. This character is pretty damn good in multiverses already. You can honestly, don't even worry about tier list. Joker is very solid. He has the tools to deal with any enemy in his at his disposal. And the combo ability in this game now is, I would say, even better than before, thanks to the new hit stun punishable moves and essentially 
the game being a little bit slower and more balanced around the dodges and the air dodges because that was a little bit crazy before now things are a little bit more balanced and well-rounded if you guys find anything else that's pretty cool with joker i want you to comment it down below we'll probably be doing advanced guides for the characters after we get a good solid two weeks into the game i already have a really good feel for wonder woman so she'll probably be the first one i do like an advanced guide for but the joker and jason are really really good characters unfortunately in this early test build that i was playing it was really hard to match up in 2v2s you really had to coordinate with other people that had the build so i wasn't really able to get any footage of that unfortunately but i will say 1v1s feel a lot better this time around because you can actually punish and well punish windows actually exists in this game <laughs> i'm glad multiverses is coming back and i can't wait to hear what you guys think after playing this because man it's actually been revamped in the finest ways and i'm glad that they took it down and they reworked a lot of these things i see great potential going forward because the game is functioning and moving at the best that it possibly can comment down below who you want to see next it'll probably be honestly jason or wonder woman but i want to hear who you guys are maining and what you want to see comment below let's get a discussion going be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new more multiverses videos are on the way and you don't want to miss them my name is blitz and thanks for watching